It can sometimes be a difficult job, but Alfredo Langoria loves every minute of it. When you're young, you, you, you focus mainly on your social life, but uh, I mean, sooner or later, you, you will get to an age where uh, what, what the uh, local and state and federal politicians, what, what they do uh, will, will affect our lives. So, I mean, it's, it's extremely important for everybody to get involved and, and, and especially to, to uh, be informed. Longoria is the president of the El Paso Young Democrats, an organization that promotes, educates, and develops future leaders of the party within the El Paso community. What, what we try to do as an organization is to go out into the community register people to vote, uh, inform people about the, the upcoming elections. Uh, we, we work with uh, other organizations to, to, to promote voting um, and educate our, our minors who are between the ages of 14 and 17 to, to we, we, we educate them about the importance of voting and, and, and getting out to vote. Much like the college Republicans at New Mexico State University, these young Democrats help engage other students in politics, something they say could be a bit of a challenge. I think it's easier for them to tell you what's happening with Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber than it is what, what's happening with President Obama and, and Congress. During an election year, the young Democrats organize phone banks. They canvass neighborhoods and help candidates win their campaigns. As our organization, we utilize the members of our organization. We utilize uh, uh, social networking sites. Uh, we do a lot of events uh, such as fundraisers, uh, barbecues, uh, you know, uh, paintathons. We do a lot of political activities, community activities, where we educate younger people that are not part of our organizations on what the issues are and uh, what's going on in politics and why they should take a stand. Social networking sites such as Facebook helps the group stay connected. Uh, it is one of the biggest social media uh, tools out there. Uh, people use it to advertise, people use it to market themselves, people use uh, even probably to even sell uh, certain products that they have. Uh, I think it, it, it shouldn't be uh, put in the back burner that you should use it to, to promote uh, political issues and stuff. There's a lot of people, you could get a lot of people on board with if you all uh, agree on the same issues. Uh, you could you could voice your message out there to, to you know you're talking millions of people out there not even people that are not even living in your own district so you could voice your opinion you could get input from that also you know, it makes it really easy you know from the comfort of your own home and so to communicate with everybody around the world the group uses the site to promote upcoming events meetings and stir up conversation on local state and national issues there's a lot of information out there and so like that your resources are unlimited it just depends on what what kind of resources you tap into and stuff. You know, there's, you have a, a media out there, you have a Facebook a posting, you have, you have political sites that are out there that, you know, you have bloggers out there. It's just, what, what I encourage uh, young voters to do is basically get informed and from, them, the, from that point on to make their own decisions so that not just jump on the bandwagon of what someone else is saying and go with that, that certain idea. You know, if they have different ideas, they should go out and voice it and, and, and you know, let, people, let them be heard so maybe it, people can make better judgment and better decisions on what, what route a certain uh, 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 issue should take.